Bubblebins has finally started getting into Unreal Engine. Most of you probably heard of Unreal Engine just because they've been making so much buzz in the past few years in VFX, CGI, and game development. And who knows what else they're doing? They're everywhere. A few years ago, Epic Games made an investment into side effects, and now Unreal Engine and Houdini are super friends. They have developed a lot of integration tools that takes advantage of Houdini's procedural workflow and Unreal Engine's awesomeness. That's There's just so much awesomeness in Unreal Engine, I can't even list them all. You'll see what I mean when I start demonstrating some of the workflows I use to create simulations in Houdini and use Unreal Engine's asset to make it look realistic. Don't get me wrong, Houdini still excels in simulations and procedural modeling, and even in vellum simulations, Houdini is still very incomparable on a lot of different levels. Imagine all that power and combine that with Unreal Engine's limitless marketplace of assets and super fast rendering engines with Houdini's flexible procedural workflows, you can create amazing things. And you all probably know how badly I want to create short films because I've been nagging about that for so long, but I have failed to get that off the ground. Hopefully by adding Unreal Engine to my never ending list of tools to learn, this will be the last tool that I'll need to finally get my short films off the ground. I mostly enjoy Unreal Engine's very awesome assets because they're so, so good and realistic. UE's assets are all free, but the one catch is that whatever you produce needs to stay in Unreal Engine, which is a fair deal in my opinion. Epic Games has been buying a lot of companies in the past few years, and one of them was Quixel, which is a company that does a lot of photogametry and has built up an impressive collection of 3D model assets. I was already using Quixel way before Epic Games bought them, so I was already convinced that Quixel's awesomeness. In the newer Unreal Engine 5, Quixel is actually part of Unreal Engine, making things even easier and simpler to use. I even remember the day they announced Epic Games bought Quixel, and I had just signed up for a whole year of Quixel subscription. Epic Games was very generous to refund all subscribers full price. That was very generous of them because they didn't really have to do that, but they still did honor the community and save us small developers a huge chunk of our budget. I really appreciated that. Why didn't I start making these Unreal Engine and Houdini videos sooner? The main reason was due to my bandwidth. Although UE's assets are very awesome, they are very large in file size, and I had a really crappy bandwidth back then. I mean, I still do now, but it's a little better. And I have upgraded my PC to a point where it can take a punch now. All these things combined, not a necessity for Unreal, but it definitely will change your experience working in Unreal Engine. UE does have system requirements, and the minimum requirements aren't that bad, but if you do use the minimum system requirements, you need to expect that it won't be a complete experience. You won't be able to utilize all the features in Unreal Engine 5 just because of the hardware capabilities. I'm mainly interested in the VFX of Unreal Engine and making films. Most of my videos to come in the future will be based on VFX with Houdini and UE going forward. Game development is on the list too, but it'll be further down the road due to its complexity of coding and blueprints. Starting off with VFX and UE, we'll be able to go over the engine and get into more interesting topics like lighting, camera work, and set Cinematography. Installation. Before you start installing the Houdini Engine plugin into Unreal Engine, you should check the versions and make sure you have the matching version on both applications before you start. Remember, Houdini has daily builds, which are different from the production builds, but they are all very organized and neatly numbered for our convenience. Now, how do you check that? First of all, which Unreal Engine version are you going to use? I'm going to be using the Unreal Engine 5.3 just because that's the latest and greatest one out. And I want the matching Dini Engine version to go with it. Go to the side effects website, hover your mouse over this support tab, and then click change log slash journal. Now this will contain a list of all the releases, all the, the commits side effects has done to their repository. So this is very nice of them to release that so we can check out what's out there, what's been released. In this categories box, come here, let's look for the Unreal plugin, Houdini for Unreal 
plug in. That's what we're looking for. Next, press the submit. Now this will contain all the comments, everything that they've checked into their repository. In here, if Side Effects has released support for the latest Unreal Engine version, it will be very nicely described down here. So we're looking for Unreal Engine 5.3. You can scroll down or you can just control F and then go 5.3, even just that. And you can see that all these 5.3 comes up. Scroll a little bit further and you can see something here. This is perfect. So we know which version of Houdini supports Unreal Engine. And this is the one that we need to get. Now, this is actually on the daily build, the production build. Now hover your mouse over the get tab and then we're gonna go click download. You'll see over here, I'm gonna make the page a little bigger. Now you have to be logged in to see this though. So you can see the version that is on the production build right here. So that's 716. So the production build is, the daily build comes out daily. If you wanted support for Unreal Engine 5.3 with Houdini, you'll have to get the daily build just because 716 is before the 737. If you bought Houdini through the SideFX website, this would be very easy. You just have to go and download the right build. If you scroll down here, you'll see that they have daily builds and this was what you want. This is where you want to find that the latest one that supports 5.3. Click this. And these are production builds. So we want daily builds. Click that. Oh, sorry. Unclick this, uncheck that. I just want to see daily build. The latest daily build they have is 751, which is more than enough for what we need because uh, su the support is 738, I believe, if I have my numbers right. 738 supports Unreal Engine 5.3. So this is more than enough for us. If you're anyone like me and you bought Houdini through Steam, it gets a little tricky. So what you have to do is right click and go to properties on Steam through Houdini and you'll get this and then click beta. That's what you want to click beta and you want this daily builds. So you'll have to check this. It's somewhere under this list. So what you want to find is daily 19.5. Those are the two key key texts that you're looking for in this naming, in this dropdown. As long as you have that and then have that selected and then close this, like it saves automatically in Steam and then just launch Steam. You might have to restart steam in order to activate the download that's what usually happens to me and then launch it and then it'll tell you what version it's installed it automatically downloads it for me just because that's what i have set up you know what i mean you have to do your own little thing you can choose to download the latest and greatest but when you launch houdini it'll tell you what version is installed and then you'll know which version so that's the version that i have installed right now 19.5.748 which is perfect because that's that's uh that's what i need to run uh unreal engine 5.3 connecting to the houdini engine Well, I've already added um, my Houdini asset in here. So I know that the engine here is not working just because once you click on it, you'll get this nice little feedback here telling me Houdini uh, engine session not started. So that means my Houdini engine is not hooked up to Unreal Engine. If you started off for the first time, you wouldn't have the Houdini asset in here already, like what I have right now, because this isn't a Houdini asset. You can come here and you'll see that there is a Houdini engine session here and you can try and connect to the session. Click that and you'll see over here. Let me do that again connect to session and you'll see that it failed down here. So that's one way to know that it's not connected. Houdini is not talking to Unreal Engine. Now, in order to connect your the Houdini engine to Unreal Engine, go to your Steam. Well, if you're like me and you have the Steam launch Houdini, you have to actually go to the Steam application and actually press the launch button and you'll it'll bring up this pop-up. This is the one that we want, the Houdini engine server named Pipe. 
Before we click play, I want you to come to Unreal Engine. Now, this is a timing thing. It has to be within that time period. So come to the Houdini engine. Now, I've already started it, so I'm going to stop the engine. And I'm going to go and press Restart Session. And then come over here and press Play right away. That should be quick enough to get it connected. If all works out, you should have a message down here in Unreal Engine saying Houdini Engine Session has been connected. This is what you want. That indicates that it's working. So let's, and since I already have an asset in here what you can do is pop a houdini hda into unreal engine and see if it's working but i already have done that so let's take a look let's click my houdini asset and click this okay it looks like it's working houdini engine session ready I recently restarted my Patreon campaign and I'm offering some one-on-one -on -one services for those that are struggling with Houdini and want to accelerate their skills at a faster pace. I'm here. As you all probably know, I want to create short films and I'm hoping this Patreon platform will help me gain some more resources to get my short off the ground. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end.